Are you trying to pick the best video conferencing platform for you and your company? Since so many people are still working from home, staying connected is important for your team's success. Today's video is all about the top two video conferencing platforms, Google Meet versus Zoom. We'll be comparing the two so you can figure out which is best for you. I'm Alex with Jotform. Let's get started. Video conferencing is the best way for us to stay connected while working from home. The two platforms that have taken center stage are Google Meet and Zoom. You can host one-on-one -on -one calls or hundreds of people at a time. They each offer free options as well as paid business plans. But when comparing Google Meet versus Zoom, there are some differences that might sway your decision from one platform to the other. First, let's talk about their features. Both platforms offer a lot of the same things, like high quality HD video, scheduling capabilities, screen sharing, gallery layout, background filters, and chat functions. Plus, their free versions are constantly being upgraded, so no one has to miss out on these great features. With Zoom's free plan, you have all access to local call recordings, breakout rooms, and waiting rooms, and Google Meet offers automatic closed captioning. Zoom is catching up with an accessibility feature called Live Transcription, but Google Meet did it first. With Google Meet, you can host a one-on-one -on -one call for up to 24 hours or a call with a maximum of 100 participants for up to 60 minutes. Zoom allows you to meet one-on-one -on -one for up to 30 hours and calls with 100 participants for up to 40 minutes. Now, what about their paid plans? Both Zoom and Google Meet offer tiered paid plans for businesses, which include longer video calls and greater amounts of participants. Business plans with Google Meet include the entire Google Workspace and can cost anywhere from $6 to $18 per user per month. Zoom's paid plans are priced between $14.99 and $19.99 per license per month. Both also come with customer enterprise plans. Using Google's Business Plus and Enterprise plans, you can have up to 250 people join any video call, which can last up to 24 hours. The standard plans and above offer features like call recording, breakout rooms, hand raising, and polls. The intriguing thing about Google Meet is that you also have the entire Google Workspace at your disposal. This means that you are able to integrate Google Meet into your work system. You can have a custom business Gmail account, additional storage in Google Drive, team messaging with chat, and a cohesive Google Calendar system. With Zoom's business plans, you can have up to 300 people join any video call with a time limit of 30 hours. You can even get a large meeting add-on where you can schedule meetings with up to 1,000 participants. This add-on starts at an additional $50 per month. You'll also get live support options, polling, streaming, and closed captions with your Zoom paid plan. Now, let's discuss their platforms. The cool thing about Google Meet is that you can use it directly from your web browser. You won't need an app to access the entire capability. Zoom, however, does require you to download an app onto your device in order to use it. They both do offer mobile apps so you can make and accept video calls from anywhere. And finally, let's look at their security. Since so much of what we do takes place online, it's extremely important that we consider our internet security. The good news is both Google and Zoom have taken measures to make sure that your data and visual spaces are kept safe from intruders and hackers. Since Zoom is a newer company, they've had to experience fast growth during the COVID-19 pandemic regarding security. They had to quickly react to various security concerns on the fly, but overall, they are considered to be safe for business and personal use. Google, on the other hand, has set the precedent for internet safety over the years. We have come to expect the privacy standards of Google with any online experience. Both of these platforms have encrypted calls, meaning that all data transmitted over video calls will be inaccessible to outsiders. And both Google Meet and Zoom use two-factor authentication, meeting access codes, as well as the ability to remove unwelcome participants from the meeting. So let's recap. Both Google Meet and Zoom offer a lot of the same features, including screen sharing, gallery layouts, background filters, and chat functions. Both offer free plans as well, though call limits vary slightly. 
They also offer paid plans for businesses ranging from $6 to $18 per user per month with Google Meet and $14.99 to $19.99 per license per month with Zoom. With Google Meet, you can use it directly from your browser, while Zoom requires you to download a separate app. And lastly, security. Both platforms are pretty evenly matched when it comes to security. While Google Meet is a leader in online security, Zoom has caught up quite quickly. Both platforms are great options for video conferencing. There isn't one better choice overall. You'll have to decide which platform is better for you and your needs. Thanks for watching today. I'm Alex with Jotform. Have a good one.